Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the body effect in MOSFET. Here we will understand how this body effect will affect the circuit performance, especially in VLSI design. First, let us understand what is body effect. The body effect, which is also known as substrate bias effect, occurs when there is a voltage difference between the source and substrate which is denoted as VBS changes the threshold voltage VT of the MOSFET. So here you need to remember the body effect which is also known as substrate bias effect occurs when the voltage difference between source and substrate changes the threshold voltage. So, voltage between source and substrate can be represented by VBS. So, this voltage between source and substrate changes the threshold voltage. This effect is known as body effect. In a MOSFET, always we assume that the source and the substrate are at the same potential, which means VBS should be equal to 0 and also VT which is threshold voltage will be constant. But in CMOS circuit where we are connecting the MOSFET in series does not satisfy the condition. So in MOSFET we assume that the source and substrate are at same potential that is why the voltage VBS is considered as 0 and the threshold voltage will be assumed to be constant. But in CMOS circuit, this condition does not satisfy because we are connecting MOSFET in a series. So, if we connect MOSFET in series, the transistor will share a common substrate. Hence, the source voltage will differ. This will cause the voltage VBS as non-zero. So, whenever the MOSFET is connected in series, it will share a common substrate. Hence, the source voltage will differ and VBS will be non-zero. So, this will cause the body effect in MOSFET circuits. Now, let us understand the body effect with a diagram. So, body effect will occur when we are having the common substrate. So, we will see what is the effect if we are having a common substrate. If you look at this diagram as shown in this figure, there are two n-type transistors that are connected in series. In transistor 1, it has a source that is connected to ground. Therefore, Vsb1 will be equal to 0. Hence, the voltage between source and substrate in transistor 1 will be equal to 0. So, as you can see here, since the source is directly connected to ground, the voltage between the source and substrate will be equal to 0 in first transistor. So, in second NMOS transistor, it has a source that is connected to drain of first transistor, which is not connected to ground. Hence, the voltage between the source and substrate in second transistor will not be equal to 0. So, VBS for second transistor will not be equal to 0. So, the source of a second transistor is at a higher potential than substrate. Hence, VBS2 will be not equal to 0. This will cause the body effect. Now, let us understand how the body effect change the threshold voltage. We know that threshold voltage is the minimum voltage required by the MOSFET for conduction. So, threshold voltage is the minimum voltage that is required by the MOSFET for its conduction. Now, let us consider this diagram to understand the body effect. So, body effect will occur when VBS is not equal to 0. So, which means 
if vbs is greater than 0 at that case the body effect will occur as vbs increases the depletion width between the channel and substrate will also increase if this depletion region width increases the diffusion of majority charge carriers from p substrate into the channel reduces hence charge carriers reduces in the channel that will reduce the drain current so to overcome this the gate to source voltage should be increased hence the threshold voltage also increases so this is how the body effect change the threshold voltage so here as vbs is not equal to zero which means if vbs increases the width of depletion region also increases that will reduce the diffusion of charges from substrate into the channel and the majority charge carriers in the channel decreases if the majority charge carriers in the channel reduces or decreases the drain current will also decrease so to overcome this effect we need to increase the voltage across gate and source so if the voltage across gate and source is increased the threshold voltage of the mosfet will also increase so this is how the body effect change the threshold voltage now let us understand the body effect by considering the mathematical expression for threshold voltage the new threshold voltage due to body effect can be given as vt is equal to vt naught plus or minus gamma into square root of vbs so here vt naught is threshold voltage when vsb is equal to zero here gamma is body effect coefficient and it will range from 0 0.4 to 1.2 depending upon the duping vsb is source to substrate voltage here plus sign in the formula will be used for nmos transistor and negative sign is used for pmos transistor so this is the formula for new threshold voltage due to body effect now let us understand the impact of variation in threshold voltage on circuit performance so increase in vt due to body effect affect the circuit in following ways so it will reduce drain current because increase in threshold voltage means less channel formation the mosfet will have slower switching speed so as vt increases the transistor will take more time to turn on it will cause design challenges especially in cmos where many transistors are connected and share the same substrate so finally we can say the body effect is crucial in vlsi especially in series connected transistors it causes the threshold voltage to increase this reduces the drain current slow down the switching and it will reduce the performance so the designers need to understand and manage these circuits like cmos inverter flip flops and memory while designing the vlsi systems this is about body effect in mosfet hope you have understood the topic Thank you.